And it is time for some SEC baseball on this Thursday night, and we get a chance to look at the number one ranked team in the country, the Vanderbilt Commodores, on the road as they open up a three-game set here at Taylor Stadium in Columbia, Missouri, a hometown product. He will get things going as the first batter of the game, Enrico Bradfield. A little squibber and a quick out. What he's going to try to do. Carter Young swings at the second pitch. And how about this? Two pitches and two outs. Off the fist. And how about that inning? Spencer Miles, three up, three down. And here's a guy they expected a lot from in Veerling, right? 296 on the year, but he should be a 300-plus hitter as he grounds out to short. Carter Young makes the play, one down. The speedster, Enrique Bradfield, Jr., that one is lifted in the air. Left side, Carter Young makes the catch, two down. It's going to take for him, Dave, to get to the next level for sure. That one's off the fist into center field, and a catch by Bradfield, and a one, two, three inning for Kumar Rocker. And let it work. It's going to create ground balls. There's a high chopper. Going to be a tough place for play for Veerling, but he's able to make it. And they get Parker Nolan. So another one, two, three inning for Spencer Miles. And four, five, and six in this Tiger lineup. That ball's hit. A little blooper behind second base, and that'll drop in for a base knock. So no talk about a no-hitter now. Swing and a miss. And he will head back to the dugout. Vertical break with kind of the break you get. Runner goes, the throw from the knees from C.J. Rodriguez, who's got a cannon for an arm, is offline and a stolen base there. How much ice did you use? <laughs> a lot. There's ball four down in the dirt, a rare walk for Kumar Rocker. Big swing and a miss. And Kumar Rocker gets a big second out. The big right-hander, Kumar Rocker. Ground ball, stabbed over at first by Keegan, throws it away. That'll get one run home. McDaniel touches the plate. Boy, Keegan, great job to get the baseball, but threw it well over the head of the 6'5 Kumar Rocker. Yeah, Dominique Keegan with an outstanding play to the backhand side, and here's the flip, but it's a little bit high, and you can see Kumar Rocker didn't have a good line either, though, Dave Neal. You yeah. see the angle he was coming. Even if he catches that ball, I don't know that he can touch the bag because of the angle he took. Watch Kumar's angle on this. He's going more straight to the bag, and this is what you're not taught to do is go straight to the bag because you have no angle. Called strike three, Rocker. Strikes out the side, but Missouri does scratch one across. Guys like this can really get a lot of people out with those ground balls. There is Cooper Davis with a base hit through the right side. Young man still playing with that cage on his helmet. And that one off the glove of Trey Morris to the backstop. It's ball four, so not much damage done there. And Vanderbilt will have two on and one down. Ground ball, and that one is through the glove of Veerling out to center field, and Vanderbilt will tie things up as Cooper Davis comes in to score, and we are all knotted up at one. Carter Young with his 15th RBI of the year. Just a fastball down in the zone. Wasn't a bad pitch. He got the ground ball he was looking for. Boy, I'll tell you what, Verling does all he can do. The ball just slides right underneath the glove. If he knocks that down, at least he prevents a run from scoring if he doesn't make the play. Bigger and better than our own Tom Hart. Through the right side. Keegan with the base knock. That'll get a run in. And it's now two to one. Well, I love this approach by Keegan. Fastball away, he doesn't try to pull it, doesn't try to hook it, just kind of goes with it. The hands go first, the barrel finds it. And just a dart right past that four hole and drives in the second run of the game for Vanderbilt. There's a reason why he came in hitting 462. <laughs> and there is a walk on a 3-1 pitch, and now they are loaded. First pitch he sees is a chopper over to third, and that is right where Luke Mann will step on the bag. Prospect in the upcoming draft, as this one is lifted high in the air off the bat of Mark Veerling out 
to center field. That'll be out number one. CC is the toughest job there is because you are the total setter for your team. That ball is shot out to right. Isaiah Thomas up against the wall makes the catch. You see those flags blowing a little bit in that direction. Pretty much 91, some 92s. And that'll slip through there for a base hit on a 3-2 pitch off the bat of day. Really can't pick up the spin. The spin of that slider looks almost like a fastball. Throw it out to second. And they got it. C.J. Rodriguez gets Josh Day out at second base. The second time he's been caught stealing this year. Now five out of seven, and that'll get the Commodores back in the dugout. Love the tag right here across the body and quickly back and Vanderbilt off of the field. Or, you know, the game goes off and how you want to attack each hitter. That's a base hit back up the middle. So Nolan reaches on the base knock. That one is shot out to the right side off the bat of Isaiah Thomas. So back-to-back -back hits and nobody out here for the Commodores. Breaks his nose, has to miss a couple of weeks. Gets that bunt down perfectly. No play anywhere. So even with that cage on that helmet, Cooper Davis getting it done, his second hit tonight. Ground ball to short. He'll try to turn two here, but that ball slips out of the hands of Veerling, so only one out and a run will score. That one's to the right side off the bat of Bradfield. That'll score a run. Throw to third is in plenty of time, so that'll be the second out of the inning, but the Commodores put up the fourth run of the night as Enrique Bradfield Jr. picks up his 12th RBI of the year and his first hit of the evening. Well, how about the adjustment by Bradfield? Weak fly ball the last time up on a changeup. This time he sits on the changeup, but a cannon from Kiefer in right field says not today. A one hot perfect strike over to Luke Mann to pick up the second out of the inning. Ground ball to the right side. That one is right through the wickets. Veerling having a tough night at second base. And that'll get Bradfield all the way over to third. Boy, nice breaking ball. Get him out of the inning, but Vanderbilt put a couple more on the board. So best case scenario, he's number one, based on what I just heard from Kylie. Worst case scenario is he's number seven, right? Because that one's popped up. Hey, either way, hey, I got a .58 ERA. I punched out 14 the other day. How much you want me to turn it up? Ground ball out to second. That one is... Lifted in the air, shallow center, long run, and is that caught by Bradfield? No way. No way he caught. Did he catch that ball? There is no way he got that. that, 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 that he I had to run 50 it. yards. They're going to call it a oh base gosh. hit. Yeah, he trapped him. What an effort that was by the freshman Enrique Bradfield. Missouri. Mm. And that will do it as Kumar. Here's the catcher, Rodriguez, who barrels that one. That's a base knock for the Vanderbilt catcher, his first of the night forever. But in terms of, like, exit velo and launch angles, is that one is hammered off the end of the bat first and second at the base hit by Nolan. Here's Cooper Davis. That one's out to center field. Lovich back pedals and makes the catch on the warning track. Yeah. Bunt laid down and got him at first. What a play defensively by the Commodores. Crazy. Some of those guys are going to be big league pitchers one day. He can't find innings. Oh, my goodness. Talk about finding something. Rocker in self-defense makes the catch. He can laugh about it now. But, man, that came back on him in a hurry. There were about five GMs that just held their breath for a second. I can promise you. Mm. Well, you want to know if he's an athlete? That tells you right there he's an athlete because this is a rocket right back at his head. But, but down low, sometimes you just can't. You know, that ball's at his shin. You know, he doesn't get to that ball. Veerling pops this one up. And that'll do it. To Doug Nikhazy is coming back. He's yeah. going to show up their pitcher. Watch out for Ole Miss. Gonzalez lifts this one high to right. It is out of here. Home run for Jason Gonzalez, his third 
of the year. The big man stepping into one. RBI number 18. Come on, big fella. After making an outstanding play on defense. And how about this swing? Ball just kind of middle in, inside out. He knew it right away. Ball in their under 18 team, the under 15 team as well. Lifts that one. That will get in. In front of the right fielder, Andrew Kiefer. And Young will stretch it out for a double. Had another big error in there that, you know, that hurt him as well. Keegan hits that one right in no man's land. Areas of the plate where you got to have them to have success. That ball is smoked off the bat of Rodriguez. A three-run shot for C.J. Rodriguez. His second home run of the year. That got out of here in a hurry. That thing got out like now, like it was gone. I mean, looking for a fastball, having an approach at the plate, looking for something that you can drive, and boy, gets a first pitch fastball, kind of middle end to get the hands in and watch him drop the barrel on this one. And that just made a little bit of a different sound as it came off of the 101. Pop up and a fly out. And then a line drive base hit. That's why he wanted to stay in there. That, I gotta, uh, yeah, yeah, I got to sell that a little bit better, you know? And that will be the third walk issued. Breaking ball. Hangs up in the air. That'll be played by Carter Young. That'll be out number two. That's a fair ball. Just past the diving Keegan. That will get one run across as Belt touches home. So an RBI single off the bat of Luke Mann. Or excuse me, double. Have. Threw him a fastball. That one is scooped up by Young. Spins, fires, and the doors get out of the inning. But Missouri does pick up a run. Every starter has reached base for Vanderbilt. All but one have a base hit. That one is lifted out to right center. It keeps going and going, and it is gone. I think that even surprised Kiefer, who thought he had a play on it. Instead, Thomas gets his sixth home run of the year to lead this team. I know it surprised Isaiah Thomas, right? He flipped the bat like he was mad because he had just flown out. You can almost see his reaction right here. Fastball away. Look, he's oh, aggravated, three, right? Three, nice three, to be three. aggravated hit one over the fence. He thought he flew out the right center field, but the ball, look at this. He's like, gosh, dog, I missed that one. No, you didn't, young fellow. Trey Morris shoots it back up the middle. So a walk and a base hit to start the bottom of the seventh inning now for the Tigers. Lifted in the air. Out to right field. Isaiah Thomas is there to make a catch, and that'll do it. I mean, I think at Vanderbilt, probably you get a little bit of a razzin, you know, especially if you get a blowout win. And I think it's the same at the big league level, too. You know, some guys might get on you. Hey, it'd be nice for you to get. Rodriguez. This guy, he is just uh, everything he's seeing, he's hitting right now. And now they're loaded with nobody out. This service. And you just really got to know your guy, right? I mean, you, I think that's the biggest part of that. You got to know who your pitcher is. Specifically mentioned that to us. These guys are going to be very rich guys in months. 100 pitches in a high school game. I know how that feels. The underhand scoop from Laboki, who just threw 40 pitches. And Vanderbilt wins game one, 10 to two over the Missouri Tigers.